It, it, your wife's in the news, and in fact, in the Times, it, she was in the man in the news section of the Times. I noticed they had to change it to woman in the news. Senator Harris of Oklahoma, the new Democratic chairman, and his wife, LaDonna, are generally liked in Washington. His wife, LaDonna, is almost as much a candidate as he is. She's a Comanche Indian who's involved in pro-Indian efforts. The federal government policy to us was like a colonial government. Other people of color are integrated into American society, but it was the policy of the United States to assimilate us so that there would no longer be Indians. We're sick and tired of sitting back and uh, turning the other cheek and then bend over and get those other two kicked. You're going to see some wide awake, educated Indians. We've got some new Indians coming up, new warriors. Unemployment, disease, suicide, many times the national average. To escape, the Indian has been going to the city only to become increasingly disheartened. The infant mortality rate is well above the national average. 65% of Indian youngsters drop out before finishing high school. These problems can't be solved by white men who have never experienced them. The 60s were crazy. We had AIM. And AIM, like all strong things, did a lot of good. But it also created divisions within the Indian community. In many cases, the activist community left a wake of resentment behind. Madonna did not leave that kind of resentment behind her. She left people like the old Lone Ranger show, scratching her head and saying, who was that woman when she left? Madonna knew how to use her resources. Being the wife of a United States Senator, you know, looking at what could be done. How do you organize people? How do you get an impact? How do you, do you get tribes to lobby? She wasn't any kind of potted plant or shrinking violet. She spoke out strongly for what she believed in. Group pressure is what makes people respond. That you can bring about change if you organize around issues. LaDonna was already a very a rare link between Indian country and Washington. Those tea parties with senators' wives did a lot to influence and to, it was a form of lobbying. She was very active in, uh, and important in getting the president to establish a cabinet-wide council on Indian affairs. I remember one time attending a meeting in her office. There were 25 lobbyists in the room, some of the highest power people in Washington, to secure restoration of the 48,000-acre sacred Blue Lake tract. Long before any organized religion came to the United States, for 700 years, the Taos Pueblo Indians worshipped in this place. And we restore this place of worship to them for all the years to come. And whenever she could, she would help a tribe that reached out to her. Native Americans aren't just the only indigenous people in the world, but there's a world of indigenous peoples and that we have a, a kinship. It's time for solidarity amongst indigenous peoples. Their languages are still dying. Many communities are still at risk, still being terminated around the planet. This Western Euro-American way of doing business is not working. We're killing the earth, we're making poor people poor, we're ripping off the developing countries. With globalization coming on, how do we continue to be knowledgeable about our own traditions and our own value systems and see if our value systems as contemporary people can contribute? It may be left up to Indian people to save this world.